Hello. In this video, we will see how to scan and import terrains from the web using Lance Design. We can do this from the terrain toolbar using this icon or from the Lance Design menu, terrain modeling, and running this import earth elevation data command. When we do this, the import earth elevation data dialog opens where we can navigate over the world until find the desired area that we want to scan. We can actually search here for any specific location. So let's go to uh, some place in the Pyrenees, like Andorra. And here we need to zoom in. Just notice that the extension is limited to 10 kilometers alongside both axes. So we need to go closer until finding the desired spot. Just notice that we have this widget that indicates the center of the area that we're going to scan that will correspond to the zero coordinates in the document. There are two options to import this area. One is by importing a textured mesh according to this picture we have over here. And the other one is creating a landscape and terrain on the same scanned area. From this elevation data, we can define the accuracy of the imported terrain and here we will see the number of samples per meter that we will generate. Actually, the data source provides samples every 30 meters, so any lower value will correspond to interpolated points. If we choose the Create Mesh option, we'll import the image that we see here. And we can choose also the Streets option, Outdoors, or Satellite Streets. I'm going to select the first option. Also, we can define the boundary of the area that we want to import by using this rectangle icon here. So we can define the area like this. Actually, if we collapse this dialog, we can make this area bigger. And finally, run the import command. Let's expand the perspective viewport. And we will be able to see the textured mesh as long as we are using render display mode. If we select this object in the land design edit panel, we can see that this object has been already tagged as a terrain. That means that all the plants and elements that we put on it will be projected on top of this mesh surface. Now, if we run the command again, we will be able to import the neighbor areas of this uh, region. So I'm going to run this command one more time. And just by clicking on these arrows, we will just be able to import the neighbor region. It is important that under the localized document, we don't click on this checkbox which will relocate the origin coordinates according to the center position of this new region. So select import and we can do the same with the two neighbor areas here. If we do right click on this area, we will be able to run the same command again. I have now four different meshes, so I'm going to select them and group them so I can select this as a single object. Now, let's repeat the command, but in this case, we will generate a terrain on one specific area, for example, over here. So we'll run this command again. I will go back to the original area. And I'm going to select here a smaller portion of terrain. And now I will select this create land terrain option instead. When I import that, 
I will see it range generated exactly on this position. We can hide the textured mesh and work with the terrain. We can show 2D and 3D representation at the same time, change the distance between contours, and do many different operations.